Welcome back guys to another video with detailing with Gary. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to restore all your plastic trimmings that are mostly black. Uh, on here on this window it's like uh, plastic but it really doesn't like get onto that as well. But we're going to be showing you guys around the like the wheel wells and then the very bottom of the car and then on the back and then on the front. So today we're going to be using the Meguiar's Hot Shine and then a sponge applicator. So then you're just going to want to do a couple sprays on here, onto this one. So that way, like three or four, or however you feel that is good enough. And then I like, I like to apply it on here. So that way once I'm spraying it, it doesn't get onto the paint. So then once you apply it on here, I'm gonna show you guys 50-50 uh, throughout this whole vehicle. And then you guys can check out the before and after on the results. All right guys, so here as we get onto it, we got this black trimming here. So we're gonna take a piece of tape. You guys don't have to do this because of course you're gonna be just applying it to your car. But just so I can show you guys a little 50-50. Let me get this center. All right, so next I'm gonna just take this and then a couple sprays, and then you're just gonna wanna apply it to every part that you can. All right. And then hopefully the door is open. Sure is. Maybe kind of get in between this one spot right here. All right. So as you do that, the reason I opened it is because I couldn't really get it because of the door is kind of like oh that's just how it is. And then it goes further, like back that way. So that's the reason why I'm here, if you guys are wondering. And then I'll do this one little spot right here. Maybe you can't get right there. But also, if you guys have different size applicators, that can also work well. You can have a small one for like your more narrower areas. But just for, right now, I just have this one, so this is what we're using. But let me show you guys these results. All right, guys. So as you can see, I was trying to get further back there, but because this sponge is too big, it kind of hits right there. So I decided not to try it there, but it's fine. But then, as you guys can see, in that fifty-fifty. This is all dull and ugly. Some of it may be light dust, but as you can see, not really. So it's mostly just dull and ugly. And then right here, we got a nice shiny. It basically looks brand new. All that other one's nice and ugly. Oh, this one is nice and shiny. So let's finish this side up and then I'll show you guys. So on this Honda guys, it has this little trim in here. So any stuff that you get, you should always wipe it down. Like we got some right there and wipe that down. And then I haven't tried this, but hopefully if you maybe do that, that works so you can try that too. Maybe spray some, if you don't have a bigger, applicator maybe just spray some onto the rag or something and then you could apply it on that back side you sure can so that's a little light pack for you guys you guys don't have to use that applicator it also works well with this apparently So 
now let me go show you guys the results we got here. Much better. All the way around. Nice and shiny. Next, let's move on to that little plastic trimming. Alright guys, so for this little spot right here, towards the wheel one, this is smaller area and a little bit more crowded. We're gonna use the same method that we used back there. So we're just gonna spray like two little drops. And then we're just gonna go around it. And then go back here. So let me show you guys this 50-50. All right guys, so as you can see right here, it's really dull and ugly as we remove the tape. You can see that nice black finish. And then, yeah, so let's finish this one and then we're gonna show you guys a little couple plastics more on the back. And then you guys can do this on your vehicle. As you guys can tell right here, it looks nice and black now compared to how it looked before. So let's move on to the back. All right, guys, so I set myself a piece of tape. We're going to do the same thing, spray a couple. And then I don't want to get too close to the paint right here. So I'm going to go over it with a, a little white bee. And then a little towel, microfiber, anything you want to use. But since the trimming is real close to the paint, try not to get as close. Or if you do, you can always wipe it down. But just to be extra more precautious. So as I finish there, I'm gonna just grab my towel, do two sprays or however many you want. And then I'm just get as close as possible. And then now we'll move on to this bottom trimming back here. Towards the bottom. Now when you guys are doing this, your vehicle will look a lot, 10 times better. Because a lot of times, once your vehicle is older, you may think, wow, the plastic is done. Maybe I can't get no more shine. But in reality, all you need is some hot shine or any other product that can be used for trimmings. Like a lot of times there's Almorel for interior, which you could use those white bees to knock down all that light dust. And just go over it. All that little piece. And then if you guys get a little bit some on the paint, always go back and make sure you wipe it down. Just so since it's like armor on and stuff, I don't think it can affect the paint, but just so it looks more better, you know. So let me show you guys these results, the 50-50. All right guys, so here we got that top trimming. It looks way better than this side. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape right now. But then, as you can see, this side is nice. And then always make sure you get towards that bottom piece and stuff. So that way you don't miss any of that. So then as we take it off here, you guys can see here, that plastic is nice and black. And then over there is really not. So then, right there's the 50-50, nice and black, and now it's restored. Now you could be driving around, and then your car would look better probably than most of the cars. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, tuning in, 
and then leave a comment down below and subscribe leave a comment whichever futuristic videos you want me to do if not subscribe the like button and see you guys next time peace